I can, well, 99% of them aren't anyway. Well, Eric Cooper says something that really makes point, the, the survival of the fittest. And you know what? It's true. You know, how many people, yeah. honestly, if, okay, you turn your faucet on, right? What's going to come out of it with no electricity? Nothing. Not much. You're not going to get nothing after the, the pressure, the lines are emptied, right? Or your well isn't going to work. Do people even know how to survive? Do they understand what, how are they going to get water? Do they have any survival tools at their house they should have? You know, like a, a, a filter system, you know, it could, you could stick it in a mud puddle and, and pull out and be able to drink the water at least. Or even a tarp where, you, you know, on a, a nice hot day, you can lay a tarp out, right, and put a, a bucket underneath it and uh, the evaporation and, and all this stuff, and you can get some water out, you know, out of it. But People you, don't yeah, know can, how to you survive. You water every night just from the dew, but, yeah, you, you if you don't know how to survive or, or you know, I, luckily I know all that stuff, so I'll, I know I'll be good, but 99% of the people don't. They don't. They're going to be eating people's pets and, and, and each other eventually. Oh, yeah. You know, that's one thing I will say. I, I learned a lot in Vietnam, okay, about survival. But getting into this type of stuff, people don't know and even realize. I Again, I don't understand what is going on. And you read the news every day. You know, like our president now is uh, signed the order to make the Air Force, you know, have the Space Force. Why do we need a Space Force separated from the Air Force? Why don't they just, you know, the Air Force will be controlling it, but why all this? I think what it is is a lot of flack to keep people's mind off of what is actually going on. Something is about ready to hit the fan out here. And they're they're doing whatever they can to keep people worked up and, and not concentrating on any main issue. I mean, the wall thing about, you know, about this, about this, North Korea, this, this. It's crazy, you know? And I, I will say this. I Again, I voted for Trump. But I remember, I'm at the age, I remember what happened to Nixon when he resigned. If he didn't resign, he was going to, he knew his, his days were numbered. He was going to be impeached. He was going to be thrown out of office. Okay? They started the process with Clinton, but they, you know, they, they didn't push it that far, okay? They kind of, you know, Clinton uh, agreed to say, I'm sorry, what I did was wrong and to the American people, okay? If he wouldn't have done that, he probably would have been impeached. But now we got somebody here that we're, is so scary that if I did what what's uh, uh, being presented, okay, or you did it, you would never see the daylight again. You'd be thrown in a dungeon, and I don't understand the American people. It's just like if you see, have you ever seen people? Somebody gets ran over by a car, right? And there's blood everywhere. All these people gather, right? And look at the body and just stare at it for a while and say, oh, my God. Why are people? I don't understand people. I just don't. I don't understand people's reasoning why all this shit is going on and the people are just letting it happen. It's their their mindset has been changed, it, and it starts with parenting, I guess. But their mindset has been changed. Me, I, I, I get out and try to save their life or help them or do something. But I've seen people walk over bodies and stuff in places. I'm like, you know, on on TV and stuff. I'm like, what? The, you know, me, I, I'm going to try to save somebody's life, pull a bullet out, sew them up, do whatever they got to do to help them. But you know, not. But mindset has changed in a different age group, and it's like. People are just numb to it now. I don't know. It, it, technology has made it where people don't have to talk to people face to face, interact. They don't know how to talk. Everything's over a computer or something, and everybody's dead to it. There's no interaction, no real life interaction. So they're numb to it. They don't know. No, yeah. Well, like Karen Banks says, the morals are out the window. Eric says, you know, it's a distraction. And, you know, again, I was talking another little subject that I've been talking about on my show. A lot of people think that the government is going to come out and admit that there's UFOs and aliens. We, we oh come on, okay? The, we have to know that. Are we are we that naive to think that we're the only planet out there, right? Of all yeah. these different solar systems with life on it, 
Okay, well, you know what? I hate to say it. There is life on other planets out there. Maybe we're not close by, but who knows where? And and you know what? We don't know what their technology is. But if you think that we're the only ones here, that God only created us, then you know what? What in the hell are you smoking? You know? Really, because listen, there's 100 billion galaxies with 100 billion planetary bodies in it. So that's 100 billion times 100 billion <laughs> you, and you think we're the only one, and then you, you're, you, we're only as ignorant as our imagination will not allow us to be. So that's that that says it all. I actually think there's that's intelligent life. Now, intelligent life's got to be out there. Even Drake's equation said there should be about roughly ten thousand planetary bodies in our galaxy alone that should have intelligent life. Now, if you look at Earth, you go down in the ocean with them. Uh, volcanic um, funnels are where the temperature is 400 degrees or a thousand degrees there shouldn't be life there there's all kind of life there or you go way down uh two miles down in a cave and you've got bacteria that's eating rock that has never seen sun don't need sun so i, I think there's um a life everywhere out there it may not be intelligent but if we've got life that can eat rock two miles down it don't you know, need sun if, uh, sun or anything like that, energy from it, then why couldn't it be out there in other places that's got the same environment? So, well, yeah, you're just fooling yourself if you think that we're the only thing. Well, d- just recently they, they had some worms that were, like, been encased yeah. it for 40,000 years, and as they thawed out, they started coming back to life. Now, three, right. I hate, come on. Now, it, 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 we, we know that they're, we're being visited by UFOs. If, if you don't think we are, then something is wrong. And aliens, and, and do you think, oh, come on. I, I said this on my show before, and I got so much heat for it, okay? Me and you and everybody else eat something, right? We eat plants, which do they have, so, uh, uh, do we feel, do they feel like when we, pluck a plant of a vegetable out of the garden do they feel the pain i don't know but you know what we eat everything you know it, it's alive on this planet from fish to cows to deer to you know uh, fox anything right we eat even each other depending on where you are in this world right yeah okay yeah. now we supposed to be civilized right that's a relative term, but yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Well, how about if there is aliens, okay, that are so far advanced than us, don't you think they might look at us the same way as we look at that Big Mac when you go to McDonald's? Absolutely. Or how about this? Remember when you were a kid and you had a microscope or micro glass and you used to put the sun on and, and zap ants? Maybe we're just ants to them. Yeah. I mean, when I walk I, uh, walk out of my house in the summertime, I know there's a lot of ants. I'm stepping on killing hundreds of ants during the summertime, walking to my car or, or feeding my animals, uh, the horses and goats out there. You know, it's all kinds. Of, and I don't even think anything of it. So, I mean. How about but, all the bacteria and the germs you're walking and, and you're breathing in and killing and eating that you don't even know? Or they're How eat- about that? Living oh. organisms, organisms too. Yeah, or they're, they're living in your own gut. And the, the the point is that you know, even on our own planet, there's still people out there eating other humans. So if you yeah. think about uh, another whatever, how do you know we might not be on their menu? Because all these people have gone missing. There's been way too many people gone missing. There can't be that many serial killers out there to have killed as many people as gone, uh, you know, missing like in the national for, uh, forest or people have gone on road trips in their car and they find their car and the people are gone and they haven't found them. It's been so many. It's it, mathematically it, impossible. For it to be just killer, serial killers. So, I, I mean, there's a lot of things going on in this world. But then, you know, people right now are thinking, okay, well, there's going to be disclosure on UFOs. Well, you know what? Disclosure, yes. Okay. Yeah. Maybe the government might come out and say, yes, we're being visited by UFOs. Yes, they exist. Are they going to come out and say, hey, well, also, we've been, you know, uh, they've been supplying us, right? Technology. In return, we let them, you know, kidnap a few people for you know their breakfast uh you know i don't think that's yeah. that part's going to happen i and no, i i can't even see the government losing face and even admitting it <laughs> i don't even see that happening you know and, and, and you know i'm going to say this too and and 
Eric, you're so right. Aliens abduct uh, Bigfoot, uh, he believes, too. I believe that, too, because I think they, they, they were trying. You know, it's not just one species or race of aliens. I think we're being visited and have been by a whole bunch because we're like the new people on the street. They want to see what we are. They're curious, you know. Right. It's like when you're in science class, right, and you're in junior high school, and the teacher comes by with a cart, right, with a whole bunch of frogs, right, and you have to dissect them, okay? Well, the the same way. They might be coming down here and dissecting humans because I've had a a couple people who worked in the government high up, uh, different agencies, I should say, one sent me pictures of mutilations of humans, okay, that uh, was happening like in the um, Amazon, uh, in Brazil, and some other places uh, that were done. If you talk about cattle mutilations, it's the same thing. Their sex glands were removed. Their tongues were removed. Certain body, you know, uh, parts were removed. Out in the jungles with laser, you know, uh, accuracy and, and you, something is going on but you know what people you know are so much in well disclosure here's what i'm seeing right now i'm seeing a huge because i got all these people want to come on my show like for the next month or so they're quickly writing books on uh, disclosure because you know it, it's a big frenzy on out there all of a sudden uh, about UFO yeah. disclosure. All of a sudden, somebody started it, and it, 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 it on the media, you know, it's like saying, you know, uh, such and such just died, in which there's the movie started. They, they read it, and they go, well, I'm still alive. No, you're dead. It, I read it. I read it on Facebook, or I read it on some other media. You're dead. Well, I'm not yeah. dead. Oh, yeah, you are. Goodbye. Uh, anyway, the frenzy has started on the, this disclosure thing. And I, you know, so all these people, I, I, like I said, I got a bunch of people emails saying, I want to come on your show. I got all this information. I, I just wrote a book on disclosure. I'm writing a book on UFO disclosure and aliens. I got to get this information out. It's like, where are they, where are they getting their information? Are they getting the same information that that one guy who claimed for 20 years he was a Bigfoot hunter and he wanted to come on my show? And I, I finally got to the point. I said, okay, I, I, John, tell me about your experiences being a Bigfoot hunter. Well, Gary, I, I wasn't, a, you know, I never went out and looked for Bigfoot. I, I researched it on the internet. Oh, Lord. Well, you mean for the last 20 years or near 20 years, you've been reading books and, and researching it on the internet, and now you're a Bigfoot hunter and an expert? What are you an expert on? You're an expert on somebody else who wrote a book about, because they, they read about other people writing the book about it. So then somebody else wrote a book on it. So it's all hearsay, most of it. I hate to say it. I'm not trying to say there won't be some type of disclosure. I think something is going on. My, I have a sneaking suspicion. Now, you know what? Uh, oh, Eric Cooper is so right. Missing 411. And disclosure started uh, last year. Oh, you, you're so right. Uh, Stephen Bassett was on my show. He didn't uh, think it would start, uh, uh, you know, for another year or two. But he's been saying that for, God, 20-some years. Well, ask yourself, Gary, how many years have you heard that? I started in 1976 on radio, and I kept hearing it back then. My friend Art <laughs> Bell, you know what? You know, we would talk off and on since... Uh, the early 90s, you know, and, you know, and, and he, he would laugh about it a lot. You know, he 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 believed because he saw and I believe he did see a triangle fly by him and his wife. But, you know, he, he kept pointing out to me, it's entertainment, Gary. It's entertainment. I let the people voice their stories out because it's entertainment and people want to hear it. You know, it's the same way with my show. You know, I let people voice it, but you know, it's a frenzy right now. Okay, yeah, and, and, it is, and, and it's and I hate to say it, it a lot of people are going to be damaged about it. You know, it's just like this one guy who did remote viewing that used to be on Art Bell's show. Always a, a major. Uh, I'm not going to say his name. I don't want to get sued, but you know, he would say, "There's a kill shot coming, and it's going to come here in the next couple years." You. And it's only a, a couple safe places in the world you, you need to go. How many naive people got scared, 
sold their property, right, and moved because they were so worried about the kill shot coming. Well, guess what? It hasn't happened.